Hey everyone, welcome to Roads of Oz. My name is Matt and on this episode, I'm gonna be installing this RHK side stand on the Husselberg. The Husselberg, as you know, is closely linked with the KTM family. They're two, two of their well-known weaknesses. One's a poor starter motor, two, the side stands tend to, um, um, tend to be quite weak. So I went with this RHK brand. You can find them on eBay, I'll put a link below. And I'm just gonna swap it out. Now, the Berg itself is up for sale. Um, I'm just not using it enough and I'm having a bit of a garage clean out. I've actually sold the CB125, another scooter, and this one will be going also. The reason I'm selling it is I don't ride it. I'll probably ride it maybe once or twice a year tops and I just can't justify registering it. I would like to replace it with more of an a, a smaller or a small to mid-sized ADV. I can use it for general duties and also I can use it to go off-road a bit. Now I'm in no rush to sell this, uh, but I did make a mistake. I sold it a little bit too late in um, post-pandemic. During the pandemic, these were getting excellent prices and now supply is more available, prices are coming back to normal. So I've missed the boat there, but that's okay. I'm in no rush to sell it, but, and if I do sell it, no problem, but, some people may ask, why are you doing this? Why are you replacing stuff on it when you're going to sell it? It's kind of like paying for your girlfriend's boob job and breaking up with her a week later. Okay, ladies, that was just mean. The boob job reference was a bit mean. So ladies out there, in the comments below, tell me your equivalent. What's the equivalent of what I just said? Um, is it, do it make, fixing all the guy's faults before he moves on to someone else? Let us know in the comments, because here at Roads of Oz, we're big on equal opportunity. Anyway, back to it. But... My logic is, if I don't sell it, then I've made a repair that's useful to me. And number two, if a potential buyer comes and sees you're still spending money on it way up to the end, it kind of gives them a bit of peace of mind thinking, well, no, he hasn't just stopped spending money on it and cut corners. Anyway, let's get into it. So one of the most important tools is safety glasses, and you'll see why in a second. But I'm just gonna take this one off first. I'll chuck it up on the, on the, on the stand. So the first part is, I'm going to take this off. All right, I'll take you off here. Oh. And you can see it's all crapped out on the inside. The new one should remedy that. Now it's plastic. That much better. All right, put a bit of grease around there. I'll oh, give that a bit of a clean. Ah, oh, that's leaked. So clean that up. What's up in there? Looks like this is leaking through. Everything. I feel like I've got more on me than what I've got on the actual part. Well done, Matthew. Well done. All right, put that away. Oh, it is everywhere. Ah. All right, so here's where I need to put the safety glasses on because you're dealing with a spring and springs can get nasty and the last thing you want is to be hit in the eye. So. Even though they're scratched and crappy, it's better than your eye getting scratched and crappy. Anyway, let's... Okay. There's a bit of Loctite on this, and we're good to go. All right, so... Put a bit of Loctite on it. Yeah. Better. All right. There we go, so it's all done. Now, thanks test. Yeah, it's all chunked up. This one was all chunked up on the inside. Uh, you can see it was, it was cracked there, so it was on its way out. 
I will keep this with the bike, so when I do sell it, you know, just in case someone wants the original lever, I don't know why it would, but it doesn't hurt to keep stuff like that. Anyway, that's uh, that's looking pretty good. That's job that's job done. That look that looks much better on the bike. No movement like the old one, and it suits the rest of the bling on the bike. Anyway, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you found the video helpful. Even though you're selling your bikes, you still should maintain them. Like I was saying in the video earlier, it gives potential buyers that little bit more confidence that you've cared for your bike. One of the other advantages is if you don't sell it, well, your bike's got all the good gear on it. Maybe on the next Hustleberg video, if I've still got it, I'll be replacing the starter motor and then it's pretty much the art to sell. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, please like, share. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel massively. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next vid.